So that's the complete mural in Las Vegas, Nevada that I uh, painted. This is a deported veteran mural that uh, states pretty much <clears throat> what has been going on with deported veterans and with myself. And uh, I'm going to give a little explanation of what's going on with the videos. Over here, I got a, a piece of a um, quote from a comic book in Captain America Civil War. And then on the center, I have uh, 13 gold stars for 12 deported veterans that have died. And in the center is Ashley Sestoma, the daughter of Olivia Segura in Chicago. I thought of her every time I was doing this, so I had to add her. Uh, and um, they're trying to deport her father. That's why I put her in the deported veteran mural. This is the part of my statement where um, this is one of the reasons that I painted the mural to get it out of my head and put it on paper or on a wall in this matter. And uh, that way kind of heal the pain that I've had inside of me for so long. And it reads, this is my truth. Since 1996, the United States has been quietly deporting veterans to their countries of birth after their service and denied them the citizenship and other services that they are rightfully earned. Veterans from Vietnam to present wars, combat veterans to disabled veterans. For eight years, I have witnessed from afar the abandonment and neglect of hundreds of deported veterans and the death of over a dozen men. This is what haunts me and robs me of my sleep and peace of mind. Cesar Manuel Lopez Nunez, United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi. And then we go into the part of um, the actual mural that I painted. And it's uh, divided in three sections. It's important to note that I did, I did that just for... Um, the way that it worked out but it's three sections california arizona and new mexico and so let's start with the details on california on california the only detail that uh needs to be added other other than the individual names of the deported veterans is the road runner if you can see in it it's got the congress name written on it that on the back is supposed to be a piece of parchment or paper that says congressional bills hr 4890 hr 1405 hr 1078 hr 7601 and they have been dead on arrival so i managed to do that in there on the second section for arizona i have a moon depicted which to me is it's a, a way to acknowledge my wife that, you know, she's always there for me. Another section on the wall is the Aquarius constellation, which represents me. Over here, at the bottom of this mesa, there's a mini wolf that I painted into it. And if you can see, it's, it's trying to emulate a bunch of butterflies coming out of his howling. And um, that brings us to the section of New Mexico, where, same thing, we have the wolf howling, and uh, the butterflies are supposed to be part of the howl. They're being spread around the country to uh, where they're supposed to go, to their families. Uh, things of note is the wolf. Of course, the wolf uh, signifies me. That's my last name, Lopez, which comes from the lupus, wolf from French. But also it has a significance to me that um, when I was uh, going to be deployed to Iraq, which I ended up not going, we I was invited to be part of a, a ceremonial with some Native American friends of mine. And uh, when we were doing the totem, uh, my totem turned out to be the wolf. And that's something that has always stayed with me. But also, things that need to be pointed out is 
the colors that I used on the wolf, it signifies my my Mexican roots, a lot of greens and yellows at the bottom on the body. But as we get to the mane of the wolf, the face and the mane of the wolf is red, white, and blue. The cactus represents the desert that I had to cross to, to inform people about what was going on. I put a bottle of water there because I found a, a couple of them when I was crossing the desert. And Psalms 23, because it's uh, my belief in God that got me through. And this is pretty much the exit. I got out on limbo. That's where I'm at right now. Still undocumented. But that's the main part of the wall. And this is a memorial painting I did for myself, for the deported veterans that have died. And uh, it's got the names of those men that I have seen die. And... Battlefield Cross on the Mexican side. You can, you know, I'm not that much of an artist, but that's supposed to be the river. On the other side is El Paso, Texas. On on the bottom side is Mexico. That's where the boots and the rifle is at for those men that have died. And um, this uh, personal for me, and this is the explanation of my mural.